Well, hi there. Out of any snake or any reptile at all that we have ever scored using our five criteria, the corn snake at 4.8 has received the highest score of all time. But I personally have a different, similar colubrid snake that I personally like even better. And those are the snakes from the genus Petuophis. Gopher snakes, pine snakes, and bull snakes. I just love them. But which is the better pet snake? To figure this out, we're gonna have to put these two amazing colubrid snakes head to head. And that means figuring out which one is the best pet snake is gonna come down to our three head to head categories, which are awesomeness, because you wouldn't want to own it if it wasn't stinking awesome, expensiveness, and difficulty. So let's start with awesomeness. I think that both of these snakes are absolutely glorious. Corn snakes are brilliantly colored, and if you're thinking, well, that one doesn't look all that brilliantly colored, that's because this one, he's actually in blue right now, which means he's getting ready to shed, and so he's considerably more drab than normal. But the good news is we have other videos featuring him, and you can check out our corn snake video right there and get a good look at what he looks at like normally. He's much brighter than this. But corn snakes, generally speaking, are brilliantly colored and they're also available in a wide arrangement of reasonably priced morphs that are also real, real pretty. Though I personally like the wild type an awful lot. It's hard to beat. Gopher snakes, bull snakes, and pine snakes are all considerably more cryptic, which means they're more kind of camouflaged colors, usually browns, maybe a little bit of red and tan. Those are the colors they have, but I think they look a lot like rattlesnakes and that's awesome. Both get to a very similar adult size. Uh, some of the, the Petuophis snakes can get to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more robust, but generally speaking, they're very similarly sized snakes to one another. They both have similar builds. They're kind of long, skinny snakes. There are other colubrid snakes like hognose snakes that I love an awful lot, but they're built completely different. They're kind of short and stout. These guys are both long and, and relatively thin, but still sturdy built snakes. The gopher snake, in my opinion, looks a little bit more aggressive. They've got kind of a more aggressive looking head. Corn snakes, they're a little bit cuter. Maybe a little more harmless looking. Both of them can be a little bit grumpy, especially as babies, but both tend to mellow out with both age and handling. Corn snakes are very, very common. I think almost too common. Seems like everybody and their dog has a corn snake though you should never give a corn snake to your dog. I think that gopher snakes look just a little bit more awesome and they're a little bit more unusual. And for that reason, they win this category. You may disagree and that's totally fine. If you disagree and think that corn snakes are more awesome, absolutely score this category differently. Heck, this category is called awesomeness. It's not exactly science. When it comes to expensiveness, if you find these snakes at an expo, they're both gonna be fairly similarly priced. They're both very affordable, to be perfectly honest. Neither of them are super expensive. Corn snakes probably because they're super common, and gopher pine and bull snakes more because they're underappreciated. Because gopher snakes are underappreciated, there are a lot fewer people that are breeding them, and as a result, you'll have a much harder time, generally speaking, finding one. You might not be able to find one locally, which means you'd have to buy it online, you'd have to find a breeder, and then you might have to ship it. And honestly, that shipping might cost as much or more than the snake. As far as the enclosure that they're gonna need, both of these are very, very similar. They can be housed very, very similarly to one another. They do well in both glass tanks with good lids or in rack systems. So they can be housed about any way that people tend to keep snakes. Uh, you're gonna need some sort of a heat source with a thermostat, uh, something like heat tape or a heat pad. Uh, you're gonna need a bowl. For water, you're gonna need hides, you're gonna need substrate, and that's about it. You're gonna be good to go. Just make sure you've got a good lid because both of these snakes can be escape artists. If there's a way out, they'll find it. And we'll have links to all those things down in the description. Both will need an appropriately sized feeder about once a week, and those are very similar feeders. They're just gonna eat rodents and they're gonna take frozen pod rodents really well, and that's inexpensive and awesome. If you're wondering how to pick an appropriately sized rodent, Snake Discovery actually has a really fantastic video on this, so I strongly recommend you check it out. We'll have a link to that video down in the description as well. Really, when it comes to price, the only major difference between these two is going to be if you have to pay shipping on a snake, and that's a lot more likely with a gopher snake. And for this reason, and really this reason alone, 
the corn snake wins the round of expensiveness. When it comes to difficulty, the truth is both of these snakes are about as easy to keep as a reptile can be. They're both easy to house, as we talked about before. They both only need to eat about once a week, and assuming that they're captive bred, both of them should eat like monsters, which is fantastic, and they're both really good if you need to go on vacation or something like that, but they're gonna eat a fairly inexpensive feeder and only one time a week, that's awesome. They're both pretty easy to handle, they're both just fantastic. They're really, really fantastic. Depending on the population and species of gopher snake that you pick, generally speaking, they're going to be a little bit, I don't know if I'd call it grumpier, but a little bit scarier than corn snakes because they tend to do things like rattle and puff up and hiss and they posture themselves like rattlesnakes. And that can be pretty intimidating. So that is something to be aware of when it comes to a gopher snake. A lot of that difference with regard to grumpiness will come down to just the individual that you pick, but generally speaking, corn snakes are going to be a little bit mellower than gopher snakes, pine snakes, and bull snakes. And for that reason, the corn snake wins this round, and as a result, this head-to-head. -head. In conclusion, both of these snakes are absolutely fantastic pets. Corns are a bit cheaper and a bit mellower on average, but personally, I like gopher snakes more. So that's the one I would get for myself. If you do your homework and you prepare, the truth is you can't go wrong with either of these snakes. They're both just spectacular pets. We already have a full video on corn snakes. You can check that out right here. We will also have a video very soon about gopher snakes, pine snakes, and bull snakes. So make sure to stay tuned for that one in the future. As always, like and subscribe. Click that little bell so you get a notification when that video comes out. And we hope to see you real soon. Something in it, like, it was weird. You probably had this. Testing test. That's test, not test, 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 test. Tear away! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm throwing it in. Well. Oh. Did you turn the heat off upstairs? Fire! Of Colubrid Snake. I'm sorry, the cursor was at the bottom and I pressed it down. To figure this out, we're gonna have to put these two amazing colubrid snakes head oh gosh i'm <laughs> <laughs> that was a gurgle yeah that was gurgle tastic okay they both eat i'm sorry there we go i know what these bloopers are gonna be oh come on now they love that Ooh.